Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm checking out the K&K &K pickup and also the K&K &K Trinity microphone add-on. So I've reviewed this pickup before and I wanted to revisit it a few months ago. So I had it installed in this Martin OM28. I want to share with you my feedback for want of a better word. I want to share my experience and also demo the pickup again. First of all, I'll play the guitar through this microphone so you hear what the guitar sounds like in a mic and then I'll play it directly into the interface. What I've found with some contact pickups over the years is that in a smaller body guitar like this, they won't have enough low end. But the great thing with the K&K &K is you do get a lot of extended low end. In fact, sometimes too much. So first of all, let me turn the mic off and play that again, just with the K&K &K pickup with all the EQ and the preamp set flat. Okay, so what I've found is at gigs that that worked really well through the PA. The thing is live, I did have a problem with feedback. I'd have to go in and notch out feedback frequencies and use the sound hole plug. It worked and I've got to say again, at the live gig, it sounded really good. It worked great. The problem I have with this pickup is I often use in-ear monitors and for that, I need something that's richer. This still sounds quite electronic and harsh to me and I couldn't EQ that out. So the reason that I added in the K&K &K Trinity mic was to try to mitigate that. So this mic just attaches to the existing end pin and you can buy this pickup with it already attached or you can add it into your existing K&K &K pickup and then it sits in the sound hole. This isn't ideal for me. I found that it would fall out of the sound hole the way it's attached. Now I'm sure you can find a way to attach it better but the way this was installed for me, the mic is just stuck on there inside and it's it's very easy just to fall out. Also, the mic sits in the sound hole, as you can see. So the problem with this is I don't like how it looks. And also if I put a sound hole plug in there, I found it to be a little bit weird sounding the way the mic was reflecting off the sound hole cover. And of course the mic would then give me even more issues with feedback. So for me personally live, it didn't work as I wanted it, wanted it to, but check out the sound of it. It's really, really natural. And I had an idea just making this video. What you could do is you could route the sound of that mic into your in-ears and sound and send just the sound of the pickup to front of house that could be incredible so definitely something to check out and if you're recording and live streaming this does sound really good it sounds incredibly natural because it is a high quality microphone but for me for what i do i'm not too sure i also have to carry around their proprietary preamp i have to use a, a trs cable that means i can't use a wireless system for me there's a lot of factors here why this won't work for what i do but I think this system is worth checking out. I think the K&K &K is a great option if you plug in and don't use in-ears and you plug in occasionally because it is the least invasive pickup system that you can install into your guitar really. And then also if you do use in-ears or live stream or record, this mic is very cool. Like I said, it's not really suitable for me, but it does sound very good. Let's take a listen to it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So that was flat and with no EQ, you were hearing the direct sound. I have to say, that is possibly one of the best direct sounds that I have heard from a pickup system. Obviously it's a pickup and a mic, but it sounds awesome. It's just for me, I like to go to a guitar and travel light. I like to plug in directly. I took this guitar to an open mic or a jam night and I jumped up to play and I didn't have the preamp with me and I plugged straight into the mixer, which was just a line level mixer and it sounded really, really bad. And that could have cost me a potential gig at this venue. So there's all these little factors why I don't really want to use this as my main gigging guitar. But the thing is, this system, when you do have everything plugged in and set it, in, set it up right, is one of the most natural systems I have heard. It's just that maybe that doesn't translate in a room and will also give you potential feedback issues as well. So this is always a trade-off with a microphone and a pickup. And again, this is a microphone and a pickup, and that's why it sounds so good direct, but also why it has a few downfalls for me as well. But this is a great system, it's worth checking out. I think in summary, if you're just gonna play occasionally, it's worth having a K and K in your guitar and the preamp with you, the small battery power preamp that they sell. You can go out occasionally and play live and have a really good sound. If you use in-ears or play every night, I would recommend something like the Anthem or the Cole Clark, something with a dual source and less feedback prone personally, but I do think this is one of the best direct sounds that I have heard. If you're just live streaming and don't want to use a microphone, then this could be a way to go. So check it out. If you're new here, subscribe and ring the bell. If you've tried this system, the K&K or the K&K &K Trinity, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.